Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a Obsidian Dragon uh, reinforcement phase for Lawrence and the guys over at Tabletop Tactics. It's been completed by Ben, one of the artists here at Siege. We're back in a second to have a look at this awesome force in more detail. See you guys in a sec. So first up in this Obsidian Dragon Reinforcement phase, uh, we have the full contents of Shadow Spear from the Primera side, uh, so we're going to have a look at all those models in detail. Ben has lovingly painted these, he's really enjoyed working on these awesome models. Uh, we're going to start by putting forward, uh, let's start with a captain I think, so we'll just get him forward just so you can see here. We have obviously a captain in Phobos armour with his helpfully, helpful little friend Servo Skull there carrying his little radar comms, which is cool. Uh, again, he's bellowing forward, obviously just bellowing them to move forward. Ben's put a lovely uh, sort of head tattoo on this guy as well, which is really cool. It's just actually one of the little dragon symbols uh, for the chapter. Uh, again, all the attention to detail. And the same technique has been applied on this with the uh, highlighting sort of slash damage of the armor, uh, just to give that sort of uh, pittedness to the edges. Just so it does the edge highlight, but also adds a bit of interest and wear to the armor, which is quite cool. These guys have, uh, have been up and amongst it. Uh, so you obviously got all the areas of detail, the lenses and everything fully picked out. His wrist mounted sort of uh, screens all highlighted and done, as you can see there. And you've got the uh, tassels just across the chest that have been highlighted in a couple of colours as well, which is really nice. All purity seals done. Then moving around the back, you've got obviously his, uh, his Vanguard cape with obviously some camo on it. Gone for kind of like an urban kind of camo, and you'll see that repeated through the four some models that do have them. The Eliminators later have uh, very similar sort of uh, capes. Uh, obviously, he's got his helmet there. Even the lenses on there are all fully picked out and highlighted as well, which is really nice. Uh, and then obviously, we've got the laurel on his shoulder pad there, all highlighted as well, which is really cool. And he's got his big scabbard there with uh, the, the knife or sword that he's got in there as well and then you've got that pure the uh, servo skull just that little helper there as you can see but all the eyes teeth and everything fully picked out there as you can see uh, really really cool captain model to lead this uh, reinforcement force for Lawrence and the guys uh, next up let's have a look at the uh, lieutenant again really really cool dominating and commanding pose uh, he's really cool with all his headgear, his visor and everything there, with the lenses and everything, as you can see, picked out the buttons on the chest unit. You've got the, the pipe in there with chevrons on it, uh, all the lenses on the guns as well, fully done. Uh, and you've got this lovely sort of grab pack as well that he's got there. Just all the same attention to detail throughout, as you can see. Really, really cool model. Uh, I do love the pose. And you'll see this blue-black scheme that's been on all of these Primaris the whole way through the force. And if you watch the other video on our channel of the full army, the first phase that we've done for Lawrence, uh, the uh, the scheme is exactly the same and the attention to detail is exactly the same. beauty of it is that you can keep getting different phases with us and the consistency will match every time guaranteed. Uh, so that's just the lieutenant there from, uh, from the force. And then last up, but by no means least, we have probably my favourite model from the Shadow Spear box, which is the, uh, the Librarian. In Phobos armor, really, really cool model. I like the way he's like using his psychic power in these just hand to mind, so to speak. But all the eyes there sort of picked out, they're actually glowing blue. Uh, I'll try and get that zoomed in so you can see. But all the eyes are fully picked out with a nice glow there, as you can see. You've got his lovely cape uh, in that sort of repeating sort of urban camo kind of scheme on there. Sorry for that, just get that in focus again. Obviously, a blended uh, blade completely done by hand there as well, which is really nice. Uh, and again, around the back, I love the movement of the cloth work as well. So it actually looks like it's billowing, which is really nice. Uh, and then you've got that lovely librarian symbol on the backpack all picked out and highlighted in gold uh, and a couple of bits of silver just to add interest to the details on there. Um, and incidentally, the cloth work has got this lovely sort of dirtiness to it. And that's been done with various techniques and bits and bobs, but it adds a bit of subtlety. So it ties in the cape to this grounds as if they've dirtied them to match the environment that they're in, which is really cool. Um, and I do one thing I do really like that they've kept on the, the new models in the Primus ranges, even for the really old. I mean, I remember the old librarians from like second edition had this sort of like filigree sort of squirrely stuff on the swords. I love the fact they've kept those ancient sort of nods to, um, to previous models and iterations, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just the librarian there in Phobos armor. Really, really cool model. And uh, that's the three characters from this reinforcement phase, guys. Do hope you like them. Up next, we have all the infantry coming from this force. So do stick around. There's loads of ace models coming up next. See you guys back in a second. So next up we have all the infantry from this reinforcement phase and uh, there's a nice selection. Obviously it's the contents of the Shadow Spear, so right from the get-go you know pretty much all the models that are in there. We have the Eliminators, we have two five-man units or a ten-man unit of Vanguard, and then we also have some suppressors at the back. So we'll start off looking at the Eliminators, really, really cool models. And uh, right from the get-go you can see Ben's done a stellar job on all of these models. And uh, you can see all the areas of detail were fully picked out, fully highlighted. The uh, the armor has got that uh, style on the armor that we've done, obviously that sort of damage sort of chip 
chip scratched armor, uh, which is really cool. And obviously all the lenses are complementary green as well, just to make those stand out, to get that to focus for you guys a bit better. And uh, and there you go, this guy's obviously looking for a victim or for a target, which is cool, or maybe supporting his two fellow Eliminator brothers. Um, so that's just him. Really cool sort of camo cloaks on these as well, as you can see there. So that's just the uh, leader of that squad. Well, we'll pull forward quite a lot of these models just because I want to show them to you guys. You can see here another one of the Eliminators just taking a shot there with all these lenses and everything fully picked out and highlighted. Uh, you've got some power cables there with some chevrons on as well, purity seals and everything uh, you've got that lovely cape a really nice weather into that cape as well so it looks a bit grubby um looks like he's obviously got some of the some of the same dirt and soot that's on the base uh, basic material obviously he's on his uh, cape as well just to sort of keep him in keeping with the, the, the area that he's in um we've also got the, the final eliminator here as you can see you've got that same scratching on the armor there as you can see for the highlighting uh, again all these lenses and everything fully picked out fully highlighted again same consistency throughout on those three which is really cool um I'll pull forward the suppressors first of all, just so you can have a look at these guys. Really, at first when I saw these, I was a bit unsure, but then see them in the flesh, uh, they really do look great, and they've got some awesome areas of detail work on them as well. Uh, again, obviously you've got these uh, accelerator auto cans with this huge belt feed that you can see there. All the power cables and everything with some chevrons on there. All the lenses and everything fully picked out with point of light source and uh, some blending to the front of the lens. And this, this black has got a lovely, lovely sort of blueish tinge to it as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, just to add some interest to that black there, as you can see. Again, really, really cool model. Obviously, you've got the, you've got the Obsidian Dragon uh, chapter symbol there on the shoulder pad. And uh, the shield guard on the gun is obviously red as well, just to complement. And uh, then you've got a nice triarc of red on there on the model as well, which is really cool. All the grenades and everything fully picked out there, as you can see as well. So that's just one of the eliminators. Um, we'll then pull forward the uh, sergeant or squad leader here, as you can see. Again, same consistency and attention on all the edging, all the areas of detail, power cables, purity seals, and extra little bits and bobs, grenades and pouches and the Aquila, all done and all fully highlighted there, as we see. Moving round, again, around the back, you've got a lovely, lovely colour all around the model as well. This this blue black that we've put on there as well which is really cool so that's just the eliminator sergeant and then we'll pull forward the other one of the eliminators so you can have a look at him as well again a really really cool uh, sort of helmet on these as well different sort of style to the rest of the uh, intercessors and uh, other primaris marines as well so that's just the other suppressor there uh, and we'll start having a look at some of these awesome vanguards pull forward the uh, the apothecary guy as well i can't remember his full name if you know it put it in the comments i've totally forgotten what it is all of a sudden uh his little reductor thing there with all the vials with bubbles and bits and bobs put in there the screen as well all done uh, all his lenses there as you can see fully highlighted fully picked out a bit of blood there on that satchel <laughs> uh he's been obviously helping somebody <laughs> and then uh, you've got the little needle there on the gauntlet that's obviously got some blood on it as well just he's been uh, doing his job and stimming someone undoubtedly uh so that's just him there as you can see uh, and we'll pull forward some of the normal vanguard brothers really really cool models uh, i do actually prefer these to the intercessors uh, i think they're more in keeping to the original tacticals just with the carbines and uh, i think they just look uh, really sort of they, a nice progression from that from the original uh, mark 7 mark uh, 8 upwards into this primaris mark 10 armor uh, so again really really cool uh, so that's just another one of those uh pull forward this dude who's shooting He's taking a shot as well, so really cool. There you got all the purity seals and everything fully highlighted and picked out. Got the grenades as well, some chevrons on there as well. Just that must be a really dangerous one. And <laughs> and uh, all the lenses there on the side of the gun. Nice variation. There's some green ones there and there's some blue lens as well, just to add a bit of... Uh, they do different jobs or different sort of types of lenses there, so that's cool. Obviously got some transfers applied onto there as well. And then we'll pull forward the sergeant from this either five man or ten man unit as well. He's got some nasty scars on him there, as you can see, but all the eyes and everything fully highlighted and fully picked out. Uh, again, he's uh, just bellowing on his brothers. Uh, all the grenades and that bits and bobs done on there, as you can see. His little wrist um, tactical readout there. He's got some blips on it and a radar sort of symbol as well, a radar sort of details on there as well, uh, which is really really cool. So that's just that. Uh, and then let's have a look at one of them taking a shot. You got this guy here. He's just shooting. Obviously, some of them there are repeated poses in some of them, like this guy. I think it's two or three times in the uh, in the um, in the kit, but uh, still really really cool model. Uh, again, you can see he's just slung his uh, his car carbine down there. He's just using his pistol. Must be someone getting in his face or something. <laughs> uh, pull forward another one just from the other squad, just so you can see the consistency from model to model. Again. All the areas of highlighting done on all the edges and everything there, as you can see. Nice gradient on the pads from darker to lighter at the top, which is really cool. Uh, we've got the dude, my favourite model probably from the Vanguards, is this dude chucking the grenade or just dropping, casually just dropping the grenade, which is uh, really cool. Um, chevrons on the grenades as well, just to distinguish different types of grenades as well. As you can see, there all the pouches and leather work highlighted and with a nice sort of uh, wear to them as well, which is cool. Uh, moving around the back there, you've got another grenade there at the back. And the smoke obviously just uh, billowing away from that grenade as he's just tossing 
enforcing it. Uh, and then we'll pull forward the leader from the other five man unit, or uh, it could be like the second in command from a 10 man unit as well, which is really cool. That's him just using his comms. Again, you can see all the eyes and everything picked out on those. Again, same consistency throughout, full attention to detail. And you've got, you've got the beauty of it is you can just take one model from one unit, place it with another without fear of there being difference or you know errors or, or any any sort of uh, consistency breaks in the uh, the painting, which is what we specialise here at Siege. So again, this is the last one of the vanguards that I'll show you. Uh, I do hope you like that. We're back in a second to have a look at the whole lot in summary again. So do stick around. That's coming up coming up just shortly now. Thanks so much for watching so far. See you guys in the next section. So thanks for watching the video guys, really appreciate it ever so much and I do hope you like this Obsidian Dragon Reinforcement phase for the guys at Tabletop Tactics. Uh, so if you are interested in getting a commission with us at Siege, be it a character, a small force like this or a larger army, all you need to do is go to the description of this video and click the link to our contact form which is on the website. Complete that contact form selecting the drop down options that are relevant for you and your project. In the message section put all the information regarding your uh, force in our list format which is very easy and explained on the website and then fire that off to us to get the process started. Uh, on top of that as well, all the links to our social media can be found in the description of the video, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. We have platforms on all of those and do regularly update them with lots of different photos and content of things that are happening here at Siege. So do go check us out and follow us on those. And finally, while you're here on, you on YouTube, do us a big favour, click the bell icon so you see all the videos as they're uploaded. Give us a subscribe if you're not a subscriber already because then you can keep up to date with all the extra videos and bits and bobs that go on here. And uh, and then drop some comments below about the Obsidian Dragons or Tabletop Tactics. What's your favourite game that you've ever seen on Tabletop Tactics or what's the favourite army that we've done that's on there? Uh, let us know in the comments. And if you like these Obsidian Dragons, then tell us so in the comments. We really appreciate it. See you guys on the next one. Look after yourselves. Bye-bye.